Howdy. My name is Mitra Azimi and I'm a PhD student in architecture at Texas A&M University. So I want to talk about parametric modeling project that I did for Center Pompidou. The main objective of this project is to apply my own design intents into the original design and parameterize some of building components. The building is located in Metz and designed by Shigeroban. This building has two main components, a large hexagon structured roof and a central spire. So the central component includes three galleries and sling height of these galleries are different. So I use these heights as parameter in my design. Also, this building has a regular shaped roof and that is placed inside a hexagon and this, uh, this roof has a hexagon uh, pattern. These are some pictures of the building. I started my modeling in Rhino, drew floor plans uh, using polyline and also used NERPS curve uh, for drawing a boundary for uh, the roof. This NERPS curve makes final result a parametric model and enables further modification of the building. So I imported the boundaries uh, as input in Grasshopper and um, defined height of these galleries as a parameter. So I can change the slider and the height of the building will be changed. Next step is to create a 2D pattern based on Penrose algorithm for roof shell. So I had to place uh, this algorithm inside um, the hexagon. Next step is to draw um, a model for openings. I imported the oval uh, shapes from Rhino into Grasshopper and defined the surface and the normal actually surface of these um, ovals. And then uh, my intent is to subtract this shapes from final uh, shell. Next step is to create parametric columns using point inputs in Grasshopper. I used some points for points um, in floor plan and imported them in Grasshopper and used the radius and um, columns height and the scale factor as parameters that change the shape of the columns. So next step is to create 3D model for roof shell using NERPS curve. Um, as we talked before, we can change the control points of this curves and the shape of the um, shell will be changed. And this is the result. I use the mesh and uh, difference and mesh union to create this final result. The next step, uh, step is to analyze um, the final model in Grasshopper and I use mesh colors and um, also the area to calculate mass area and um, to analyze the curvature in Grasshopper. Next step is to generate um, a kind of generative model in Grasshopper um, and I use the application uh, and I use the Kangaroo Physics and Viverbird and I connected the primary um, mesh um, into Kangaroo Physics and uh, we have uh, some U-force and uh, springs as forces in Kangaroo and this is as you see this is the representation of U-force in Rhino. I will show the um, Kangaroo um, in next slides and um, this is the primary mesh and these are the meshes created by Kangaroo Physics generative models actually. Um, and the next step is to uh, project a pattern. I created Penrose pattern um, to project it on um, the roof shell. And finally, I used the pipe um, to create some beams for this shell. And this is what I um, baked in uh, Grasshopper. And this is the final graph. So here I want to show the Kangaroo engine, so this is what happened here and if I change it to positive number, this is the change of primary model. Thank you so much.